New allegations of sexual conduct levied today against the University of Michigan involving the alleged actions of a former professor. Let's go live to WWJ's John Hewitt. John. Brooke, a lawsuit being filed today in Washtenaw County Circuit Court on behalf of eight former University of Michigan female students who allege sexual misconduct and abuse at the hands of a now former professor, Bruce Conforth. It is alleged in the filing university officials first knew of the allegations against the professor after a complaint in 2008, but let Conforth stay on for nearly a decade longer, over which time he allegedly abused others, including former student Isabel Brauman. There are thousands of survivors who will continue to point out what you have done to try to hide from your actions. And we grow louder and stronger each day. Firing a president does not fix this issue. Changing a Title IX office while keeping the same administration and procedures in place does not fix this issue. Your empty, false messaging every time a new story comes out will not fix this issue. Tell the truth. Tell them what you allow to happen to us. In a statement, the University of Michigan tells News Radio 950 Conforth admitted to allegations of sexual misconduct as part of his separation agreement that ended his employment back in 2017. Those filing suit today, however, say Conforth's actions were ignored by the university and covered up for years. Reporting live, John Hewitt, WWJ News Radio 950. Oxford's Two former University of Michigan students are calling on the school to address another report of sexual misconduct within the university. They say they were sexually assaulted and harassed by a professor there and will speak publicly today about their experiences. They'll hold a virtual press conference at 10 o'clock this morning. Last year, several former students spoke with the school's newspaper, the Michigan Daily, and said former American culture lecturer Bruce Conforth made unwanted advances toward them while they were students, one claiming he pressured her into a sexual relationship. Conforth is a founding curator of the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. He retired in 2017 after women reported his misconduct to the university. Josh, thank you. More survivors of abuse are speaking out today about the University of Michigan. At 10 this morning, sister survivors of former professor Bruce Conforth, known as the, quote, rock and roll professor, will speak about their experiences with sexual assault and harassment while on campus and their next legal steps. Their allegations come after the university settled for nearly $500 million with more, with more than 1,000 victims of a former sports doctor. Happening today, former students at the University of Michigan are scheduled to discuss campus sexual assaults, harassment, and legal action against a former professor. The former students and a legal counsel say former professor Bruce Conforth sexually assaulted students. The group will discuss legal action against Conforth, who taught at the university for 15 years. Today's virtual news conference is at 10. For the second time this month... Hey, good morning, everybody. Two former University of Michigan students are calling on the school to address another report of sexual misconduct within the university. They say they were sexually assaulted and harassed by a professor there and will speak publicly today about their experiences. They'll hold a virtual press conference and just over an hour here, 10 o'clock, it gets started. Uh, last year, several former students spoke with the school's newspaper, the Michigan Daily, and said former American culture lecturer Bruce Conforth made unwanted advances toward them while they were students. One claimed he pressured her into a sexual relationship. Conforth is a founding curator of the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. He retired in 2017 after some of the women reported his misconduct to the university. All right, folks, Terry with this Local 4 News update and a look at what's coming up on Local 4 News ahead at noon. Former University of Michigan students are speaking out against a former professor who they say sexually assaulted and harassed several women. Their complaints and what they plan to do legally will spell that all out for you.